Welcome everyone, in this video I'll be explaining the 7 key differences of the newly released LEGO Spike Prime and Mindstorm's Inventor Kit to help determine which version is best for you. Spike Prime was released in 2019 as a LEGO Education Kit, more suited for a younger demographic. The LEGO Mindstorm's Inventor was released in 2020 as a retail set, replacing EB3 which was released in 2013. Both hubs have the exact same design. Both have 6 input ports and a gyro sensor. The Spike Prime coding software is more suited for school lessons, though the Inventor software is more for larger projects and more play and challenges to build onto. Both Spike Prime and Inventor can be programmed with Scratch or Python. All sensors in the Spike Prime kit are compatible with the Inventor kit, vice versa. But the quantities are different. In the Spike Prime kit, you get two medium motors, one large motor, one color sensor, one distance sensor, and one touch sensor. And then in the Inventor kit, you get four medium motors, no large motors, one color sensor, one distance sensor, and no touch sensors. The Spike Prime kit has 520 pieces and sells for 550 Australian dollars. Though the Inventor kit has 949 pieces and surprisingly sells at the same price of 550 Australian dollars. The sets are more organized in the Spike Prime gear with labels, stickers and trays, though in the Inventor kit there's more parts and they don't have sorting trays, instead they have lines on the bottom of the box to show you how you should sort the parts. Anyway guys, that was the video. If you found this uh, video helpful or enjoyable at any point, please consider leaving a like and we are so, so close to 100 subscribers so it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.